Who are we? We are Kubota. Hey guys, my name is Cody Erickson from Edmonton Kubota Limited. I'm here today to talk to you about the Z200 series zero turn mowers from Kubota. Now these mowers are a revamped version of our very popular Z100 series, which was our most uh, or least expensive zero turn that we sell. Uh, 200 obviously is still our least expensive zero turn, um, but we got some revamped features on them that uh, they just, they changed a few things like the seat, um, springs, the mower deck, um, just some simple changes to make things a little bit more reliable and durable for you. So uh, different configurations with, uh, you can get zero, or sorry, LED lights on these machines, suspension seat options, um, upgraded seats. As you can see here, they upgraded the seats again this year with all our models actually. So they're a very comfortable seat. You don't have to buy a $20,000 zero turn mower to get the best quality seat available. So we're gonna get right into it here. Um, hope you guys enjoy it. We'll talk to you in a bit. Okay, so we're going to jump right up here. First of all, like I already mentioned, seat is extremely comfortable. Um, especially if you're mowing for, you know, if you're used to mowing for an hour or two or you have rough terrain. Um, it's really nice to have a nice seat. Uh, this one happens to have the suspension seat on it, which you can adjust just with this dial depending on the weight. Um, but very comfortable. Um, the, the least expensive version obviously doesn't come with a suspension seat. You can add that mechanism later on if you decide. I think on this one, it's you know roughly around $300, $350 to add that to it. So <clears throat> one of the features that Kubota puts on all their mowers, whether it's you know their introductory T-series or their beginning li beginner lineup of zero turns, um, we have a dial a height adjuster. So basically what that means, you lift the mower deck up, which it's in the raised position now, you set your cut height, very easy to turn, and then you just drop your mower deck into that cutting position. This one has the choke on the throttle lever, so all the way ahead to choke it to start it, you're good to go. Electric over, or electric uh, clutch engagement, your fuel fill is right here, very easily to access too. It's actually in a really nice position. It might seem like a minor thing, but some guys put the engine, or sorry, the fuel tank right by the engine, which I particularly don't like. Um, you can spill that gasoline onto the engine and hopefully you won't cause a fire. But anyway, it's in a nice location away from the engine. Uh, there's no heat there and it's just at a nice height. Uh, you do have a cup holder over here. Um, actually, you have two technically, I guess, and just a little cubby here to put tools, uh, whatever else you need to put in there. Your park brake is on the side. Um, to operate this mower, you got to release the park brake, then bring in your handles. If you don't do that, it's just going to kill it, just a safety mechanism so you don't wear out your park brake. Uh, another, another little cubby right here. You also have an hour meter right here, um, which is kind of nice so you can kind of see how many hours you're spending on the mower. Um, that's about it for the platform. So, oh, by the way, standard armrests. Some companies don't do that. Kubota does. So very, make, it's very comfortable to use this unit. You can rest your arms on here if you like. You can get it, once you get really good on these, by the way, you can actually just use one hand to do your turning. You know, obviously if you're doing a total 180, you're gonna have to use both hands. But if you need to drink your beverage, you can use one hand, drink your beverage same time. Okay, we're going to move on to the engine and uh, check that out. So this is the the one that I was just sitting on. Um, this one actually features a 25 horsepower Kubota engine, or sorry, a Kohler engine, as you can see there. Um, you can also get this with a Briggs engine, but when you get the Briggs engine, you don't get the suspension seat or the LED lights. So that's just one thing to keep in mind if you want those different options, which again, you can add those later if you get the Briggs engine. I know there's a lot of guys out there that, you know, they, pe some people don't like Kohler engines, some people don't like Briggs engines. And I guess the difference is, the only thing I want to say about that is that um, the Kohler and Briggs also make less, lower quality engines that are sold in cheaper products, maybe the, in the box stores or whatever. Uh, Kubota only uses, they spec out the engine, they want Kohler or Briggs to make them. So they only use the top of the line stuff. Um, we've had very good success with our engines. So 
This one uh, access the air filter. A little hard to do in one hand, but it's actually a really nice little system. It's right there. So that's actually a little bit different than what they used to have. Um, these ones do kind of come with a hitch. It's just a little, you can see it, it's just a piece of metal that's kind of bent up to make it easier to pull it, pull stuff. So if we kind of look down here, hopefully I can see. So you have, uh, you can see your fuel filter there, your oil filter on the other side is where the drain is to drop the oil filter. Um, very easy to service this machine. I serviced my 411 uh, with in about, I don't know, half an hour it took me. Um, so we'll just kind of walk around the machine, look at the tires, uh, 22 inch rubber on these ones. Here's a fabricated deck, welded fabricated deck. Um, very, if you have to take this mower deck off, it's very easy. We could see there's a pin there. A pin right there. And then again on the other side, um, you rip those pins out, drop the mower, and take it off. And the one other thing you have to do is right here. See where my finger is there. So that's just obviously it's your belt, but <laughs> you can uh, easily just pull that back and take it off the pulley and then the mower deck off. So a lot of guys will come in here and they'll talk about, uh, they'll ask us if we have any mowers that have the deck that flips up, but I'm not a big fan of those uh, just for the uh, reliability reasons. Um, but to take this mower deck off, it, it literally takes you 10 minutes. That's it. So very easy to do. And 10 minutes is with you reading the book to do it. So another important thing to check out here is if you look at the transmission, so it's got a Hydro Gear ZT 3100 grade transmission, which is a commercial grade transmission. Our competitors uh, do not use, or I shouldn't say that, not all of them use a commercial grade transmission in their mower deck in this class. So, or in their zero turn mowers in this class. So Kubota's been doing this from the start. Again, they're very focused on giving the customer the best quality product they can possibly uh, give them. So they use commercial grade transmissions to hopefully uh, uh, make sure that unit lasts a long time. So, um, okay. So we'll go back to the top and we'll uh, check out a few other things here. Okay, we're gonna go underneath the mower deck here and have a little look. So again, if you guys watched the video on the 400 series mowers, I showed you these blades and how thick they are. And you can see these things are very thick, very good, high quality blades. You should, the, these blades honestly will last you probably three seasons or more. Um, Obviously that's taking care of them well. You're gonna still have to take them off and get them sharpened. But as long as you do that, they're gonna treat you good and you're gonna, they're gonna get a lot of life out of them. So um, also very deep fabricated deck, good airflow. If you wanna put a mulch kit on there, works exceptionally well with a mulch kit. Okay, we're just gonna go for a quick little tour around our showroom to see the different models of the 200 series that we have. So right here we have the Z231. This one features a 21 horsepower Kohler engine, which also means that it has a suspension seat and LED lights on it. So not that we're mowing at night that we need LED lights, but if you're like me in the fall, there's honestly, I could have used them on mine. So, um, so we'll have a look at that one. So you can see here the 48 inch mower as well that's on that model. Um, here's the LED lights, very bright. Um, so here's... Uh, Here's the small compact 42 inch Z231. This one features a Kawasaki engine on it. Um, lower price, obviously, because it is a small compact unit. This one we found, uh, we've actually sold some of these to people that live like in the city of St. Albert, city of Edmonton with large town lots, also commercial applications where they use them for mowing in the medians in city streets. So. Um, that's kind of ideally what this model or the niche that this model uh, fits in. So, hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video on the Z200 uh, zero turn mowers from Kubota. Um, again, they are a very popular and a very reasonably priced model. 
that we offer. Very reliable, but it's going to cut down your mowing time so you have a lot more free time to do other things that you really enjoy like going to the lake or golfing or whatever it might be that you do in your off time. So um, hope to see you again soon. Uh, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button, like, share, comment, let us know uh, how we did or if you want to see anything else in particular. So I uh, hope to see you soon. Uh, thank you. Thank you.